All right, we're gonna do the big muff comparison right now. Um, I'm running a Fender. Uh, I'm running a uh, Fender Stratocaster American Strat guitar, and I'm gonna run it into my Fender Twin Reverb uh, and uh, the High Watt uh, T20 amp. Uh, first with the Fender. That's my clean tone with the uh, Fender Twin. I'm gonna turn on the high watt. All right, that, <clears throat> that's with both amps. Okay, now we got the uh, um, Solvtech. Um, it's like the Civil War Big Muff. Uh, I said Green Russian, but it's actually like a Civil War, I believe. And then we got the Big Muff Pi, both Deluxe. Deluxe means you get the uh, option for the uh, mids boost or cut. And you get uh, a couple extra other options like uh, a noise gate. So that's why I like these for the noise gate. So it's just for that pedal alone. Uh, then you got the third one is the uh, Electro Harmonics um, reissue. Ram's had Big Muff. Then you got the Caprid, which is basically a Ram's head Big Muff a classic, uh, just with a different company. Renning Cuff does this one, so. <laughs> I'm also going to use uh, on and off. I'll let you know, but I'm going to use the um, Dynacomp, the MXR Dynacomp. Um, you could probably see me hit it, uh, but here, this is a... Uh All right, let's get started here. Um... I'm gonna. I got the volumes all at uh, twelve o'clock. I got the uh, tones pretty much at twelve o'clock. Sustain uh, on these three, I have it uh, at seventy percent. On the um, soft tech, I put it a little higher. I put about uh, eighty-five percent because it's it's a little less gain, um, just to match it up a little better. So here's the soft tech. <laughs>
sound different. Um, I'm trying to get these two Ram heads to sound pretty much alike and see what's the difference because they're both exactly are, uh, based off the original Ram's head. <laughs> The Capert has a little more mid-range. I noticed that. A little less disdain. Uh, I'm sustained. Uh, the the Rams uh, the Electro Harmonics reissue. A little more crazier, but it sounds good. It's very scooped. Um, I got to be honest with you. I like the Running Cuff one better because it's it's just more there. It's more pronounced. But the uh, I I got. I think that the Electro Harmonics um, reissue is uh, closer to the original. Um. It's almost like it feels like the technology in the caper is like old school technology and like more like the original on the on the inside of it the guts and the uh, reissue little guy over here electro harmonics feels like it's more like newer components but it sounds good but doesn't sound it doesn't sound like like analog it sounds more like it like digital I guess in comparison not digital but you know what I mean like like new school newer parts. <laughs> Is better. <clears throat> I, I know when you turn the tone up, it uh, changes them the, a little bit with each other. Uh, the uh, running cuff one, though, it's. <laughs> Cuff definitely has it in the mids. Um, it just sounds richer. All right, let's um, let's make the uh, deluxe big muff sound like the capered. <laughs> Thank you. 
By the way, I have the noise gates off on these two, uh, just so there's no noise gates in the way. I was looking at the settings online for this deluxe uh, Big Muff Pie, and there is settings you can make it sound just like the Rams head, um, and it's showing the mids with the frequency all the way up. The uh, the Q, uh, high and low, it, it shows it um, either way, but uh, I, I find it more effective up. Uh, it narrows the, the frequency and makes it sharper so it's a bigger pitch up or down whichever way you go on the frequency but uh low is is more like moderate and fuller you know high is more like sharper where you're at on the uh spectrum and then it's showing the level is up i believe it was up like there and that was down and that was supposed to be the settings for the uh for the ram set <laughs> I guess it's it's pretty close. I do it by ear it's totally different so you watch this is the settings they give you and I'm online I'm going to show you by ear what I get <laughs>
getting <clears throat> I'm getting totally different as far as than what the online settings they give you. Although I, now that I got it locked in pretty close, I don't want to mess with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that alone. Go over to this guy and show you this guy, the soft tech. <laughs> soft heck sound like the electro harmonics rand's head <laughs> is also we should try to match these two let's do that <laughs> you know something i think this caprid is uh is a clone from the uh soft tech it sounds more like the soft tech than it does the ram's head with the pie it says ram's head but uh, <clears throat> it, it's got mid-range in it. Gosh, <clears throat> they 
sound so much alike, these two. These two sound so much alike. Wow. <laughs> face boom big muff this one's more subtle it creeps up on you um, so on here I got the frequency on the other on the lower side spectrum than the uh, frequency on the uh, Pi on the uh, soft tech I got the uh, yeah I got them both below the mid the 12 o'clock range like mids is uh, like 1130 on the level and the frequency is like 11 where on this one on the Pi, the frequency is at like 12.30 and the level is at 1. So it's almost like opposite. Yeah. So, and I love that gate. Look at this. Dead quiet. Dead quiet. I should try to make this uh, big muff sound like this one. That that's an interesting way to do it. All right, let's see if we could do that.
let's let's make let's make this one with the mids frequency change sound like this one without the mids. So the original soft tech. have to continue this video there's a lot going on with these pedals here and I don't want to bore you for more than half an hour so uh, we'll come back to these but yeah this is basically the synapsis honestly I like the way the paper looks I like the original look the most out of all of these um, honestly I liked the uh, pie for the longest the uh, Deluxe Pi because of the gate and the mid frequency change. I, I, I just liked it the way it sounded in my Fender Twin Reverb. And uh, but now that I pulled out the saw tech, I think I'm going to start playing around with this. I'm going to put this on my pedal board when I set it up after the Floyd pedal board back to my normal pedal board. And I'm going to give this one, I'm going to retire it for a little bit, give it a rest. And these guys as well. Uh, this little one. Yeah, I mean, it's a little cute pedal and everything. It's it's perfect. Throw it on the board and go. But I, I have a lot of space, so I really don't need it. I mean, if I had a pedal board or something on the run, I needed something that would do the job perfectly and cheap and small. Boom. But I don't. So that those go. These three are gonna go away. This is gonna go on the board. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with this for a while and uh, get some fun sounds out of it. I didn't even use the Dynacom, and I used burned up a half an hour just trying to match things. I could be here all day matching stuff. Uh, sometimes I pre-match before I start the video so I don't do this, but I just figured let me just jump it right in and just start from scratch and play with it and get into the zone. Um, so that's it. Uh, we'll come back with uh, other videos.